Hey YouTube, Mike from Mike's Woodshop. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the first video and I'd like to thank everyone that viewed it. And um, here is our, my second video. Uh, I'm new to this YouTube and now I'm trying to video this off my iPad. Um, I'm going to try it off a of GoPro once I get the uh, uh, software loaded up into my laptop. But here's the saw stop. It came in uh, Thursday and my son and I went and picked it up in our utility trailer. Um, picked it up from Woodcraft and I'd like to thank um, the owner, Jim, and especially the general manager, Billy, for getting it in in such a timely fashion. Um, he did order me a, the 36 inch cross cut, which actually I'm very happy with. But um, took about three hours. I worked all into the night to put it together. Took about three hours to assemble it. And then I spent a couple of hours yesterday tuning it in, loading the blade, checking the cartridge, and uh, making a few cuts. The box on below it, um, I'm going to be putting some drawers in there to put the dado cartridge and insert and blades and other push sticks and the um, uh, push handles up there. But I got to say, it is a great saw. This is my fifth table saw. I owned a Craftsman, then um, a Powermatic, then a Grizzly, then that Rigid that you saw on the last video, and now this one. From the packaging to the instructions to the packaging of the hardware to the quality of the saw, it is very, very good. Um, I think it's a great saw. I bought it mostly for the uh, safety feature. This is a hobby and I cannot afford <laughs> To lose a finger or possibly a bad cut so that's probably the main reason that i bought it um i did by saving the pickup the the delivery fee uh, i used that money to get the overarm uh, dust extractor the um rolling cart that i had that right on did not fit underneath it so now it's just sitting there and i did add a blast gate and i did watch a video um, someone throttled down a blast gate, which gave the overarm dust extractor a uh, better suction. And it does seem to be, works very well. Uh, I'm going to try to get in there. I don't know if you could see, but I did leave the sawdust on. I don't know if you could see it. I don't know if, how the quality of this is, but very little sawdust. Um, again, a very good tool. The only thing I am displeased with is my outfeed table and the assembly table. I have it about, about a sixteenth of an inch lower. They work good, but I think some of you could see the uh, T-Track knocks right in to the uh, metal of the assembly table. And also I can groove the outfeed table, but uh, I'm not happy with it. And I think I'm just gonna build a, um, a regular um, outfeed table for the unit. Okay, uh, a couple of other things which I missed. I do have a Rikon. You can see it's a 62400 air filtration. With, it's a remote. I have it on top of the um, uh, uh, work uh, station. And it uh, works very well. Do have to change the filters quite often. I keep a bunch of them. But um, it does work very well. Now, I don't think I mentioned or showed you my assembly table. It's a Craig workbench. And one of my other purchases, which was my Christmas present, was the Festool vacuum clamp system. I have down at the bottom, I have uh, more, the other heads for it, but this thing works great. That holder, uh, that wood, is not my design. It is from the Festool Contoro um, site. They do give you the uh, measurements. I did watch uh, Eric from... Uh, the Poplar Shop also built one, and it does make the system work a lot better. Being mounted there, I can leave it, push that assembly table back into this corner, and it works great. Um, the table is on casters, probably weighs about 250 pounds with everything on it. I keep the, uh, the vacuum pump below it. I just plug it into an extension cord. The Festool toolbox has uh, all kinds of jigs in it, Festool clamps, dogs, I have my hold downs and what I did was I built the top with three quarter um, holes instead of the 20 millimeter 
like what is in the uh, MFT3 table. And I did it with the LR32 system, and I think I spaced them at like every fourth hole. Uh, laid out a grid, did do it with two pieces of um, OSB, uh, not to bust through the other side, and I ended up with a very good top. I've probably been using this for about two years now. Uh, Craig makes a very good um, uh, assembly table, very heavy steel. I put the Craig clamp system up there uh, for clamping, and I do have a vise that I can clamp on if I have to do some other metal work. Um, over here is something also that I found off of uh, the Poplar shop, and it is the new trick, um, actual male and female plugs. And basically what this does is you cut the ends off your tools, as you can see. That is the Colt uh, trim router. I have a, dr a Dremel saw, um, a roto zip, and then the um, Fest tool, what is that, the DX93, <laughs> which is really the only Fest tool that I think comes with a cord on it. And that was actually the hardest to cut off. Not so much of the cord, it was just very hard to cut a Fest tool plug. But what this thing does, and I know I'm holding this and it's very hard for me to show you, but what it does is you mate them with this end right here. And when they go, to, when they twist together and they lock, and then you pull these two yellow tabs and they will separate. Um, prevents the cords from pulling out. Um, I'll show you the, the that one there would be the M, that is the male end, and that is the model number for the female end. I got it off Parts Plus, which is kind of like a computer website uh, that does all kinds of power supplies, but I, once I find out how to make a link, I'll link the um, website if anybody's interested. What I also did on the table was put this, also from Nutrick, I put this plug in. And basically, that is a female end, like you would have at a, a receptacle. And then I wired it through the bottom of the table to this cord. It's 15 feet, and I can plug the cord in to an outlet behind me, and now I have power at the table. Another thing which I don't think I mentioned is I have purchased quite a few of these, and this is the uh, DeWalt stack system. They're large and small drawers, toolboxes. They are on a rolling, you can get a rolling cart, which is those Festool carriers right there. The Festool, those two systems, they're on the rolling cart for it. And they make a series of these. I also have the Tough system, which is on a hand truck, and we can lock them onto shelving on my, at my shop. The, these are not waterproof, but the Tough system is. This here, underneath the assembly table is part of the tough system where it's uh, that ones that go on to the hand truck and can be put onto a rail system in your shop that you can pull these toolboxes off, put them onto a hand truck and carry them into the job site. Um, the rigid vacuum. Uh, I know Festool makes a small portable vacuum, but we've used these extensively on our job sites, bringing them in it works very well uh, when I need to work inside the house or even onto a small sander, it, the, 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 the vacuum is very good. Uh, what else did we forget? I don't think that's about it. Um, so um, that is an update on the saw. Um, again, it is one of the best saws that I think is out there. And for the price and the quality, it is well worth purchasing it. Um, again, thank you for watching the videos, and um, I'll be posting more. Have a good day.